Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the mechanism of organic name reactions. Today's reaction is Wittig reaction. Okay, Wittig reaction is one of the very important and useful reaction. Actually, it provides a route for the synthesis of alkenes. You know several methods for the synthesis of alkenes from aldehydes. So, this is also one of the methods for the synthesis of alkenes from aldehydes. It means in this reaction, aldehyde or ketone. Okay, it may be aldehyde or it may be ketone. These are converted to alkenes, corresponding alkenes with the help of one of the reagent that is called Wittig reagent. What is Wittig reagent? Actually, Wittig reagent is nothing. It is alkylidine diphenyl phosphorin. Okay. We can represent it like PS3, P, double bond, Cr2. This is called Wittig reagent. Now, how it is prepared? So, see here. So, actually, what is the reaction? This is the Wittig reagent. Okay and it reacts with the aldehyde of ketone and what we are getting we are getting ph2p double bond ch2 it means alkene and then we are getting ph3p double bond o triphenyl phosphonium oxide okay so this reaction is known as the wittig reaction actually this wittig reagent first of all we should know how this Wittig reagent is prepared. This Wittig reagent is prepared by the reaction of trialkyl or triphenyl phosphine. This trialkyl or triphenyl phosphine is treated with alkyl halide. As a result, what happens? There is SN2 mechanism. A nucleophilic substitution reaction takes place and as a result, we get Wittig reagent. So, how Wittig reagent is prepared? It is prepared by the reaction of trialkyl phosphine or triphenyl phosphine with the alkyl halide. And actually it is a nucleophilic substitution reaction. See here, this trialkyl or triphenyl phosphine, this is a good nucleophile. Okay. It is, and it acts as a weak base. So, it can react with the primary or secondary alkyl halide by the SN2 mechanism. See here, this is trialkyl phosphine okay there is a lone pair of electron so it is acting as the nucleophile right and here is this alkyl halide suppose this is secondary one okay you can take either secondary or primary any one okay so what is happening this lone pair of al this lone pair will attack on this carbon atom okay this is the nucleophilic substitution reaction. SN2 mechanism is happening. At the same time, this group is leaving. Okay. So, this is SN2 mechanism. As a result, what we are getting? We are getting R3P plus CH R double dash R dash. Okay. We are getting this one. Now, this has this hydrogen atom. This is acidic hydrogen atom. Okay. So, what we need? We need a strong base. Strong base may be alkyl lithium. It may be sodium hydride. It may be sodamide. Okay. Suppose we are taking this alkyl lithium. This is a strong base. It is a good nucleophile. So, it will attack on this. This is the hydrogen. Okay. This hydrogen is here. This one. Okay, so what is happening? This base is attacking on this and this bond is going like it. Okay, as a result, RH is getting removed and what we are getting? We are getting R3P plus C minus R double dash R dash. Okay, now this is called elide. Okay, this is elide. Okay. In this, you can see there are two centers. This is the negative center and this is the positive center. So, it is called elite and this can convert to R3P double bond C R double dash R dash. Okay. Now, the carbon atom of this elite is nucleophilic. You can see here this carbon atom is nucleophilic in nature. This is nucleophilic in nature okay so it will undergo the nucleophilic addition reaction with the 
कार्बोनाइल कार्बन आइटम ऑफ द एल्डिहाइड और कीटो हाउ दिस रिएक्शन इज हैपनिंग सी हियर दिस इज आवर एल्डिहाइड और कीटो ओके एंड दिस इज आवर न्यूक्लियोफाइल दैट इज फॉर्मड दैट वी आर कॉलिंग एलाइड दिस इज न्यूक्लियोफिलिक एंड यू नो दैट दिस कार्बन आइटम इज इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक ओके द कार्बोनाइल कार्बन आइटम ऑफ द एल्डिहाइड और कीटोन इज इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सो इट कैन अटैक ऑन दिस एंड दिस ग्रुप विल गो लाइक दिस सो व्हाट वी आर गेटिंग अ न्यू बॉन्ड इज फॉर्मड दिस इज नेगेटिव चार्ज एंड दिस इज पॉजिटिव चार्ज ओके सो अ डायरेक्ट बॉन्ड इज फॉर्मड बिटवीन दिस ऑक्सीजन एंड फास्फोरस ओके सो वी आर गेटिंग अ साइक्लिक स्ट्रक्चर a four membered ring we are getting here this is pr3 and this is o and the new bond is formed between this this is the four membered cyclic transition state that is formed and that we call oxophosphatidine okay now this oxophosphatidine is in strain okay this is the four membered cyclic ring that is formed this is highly unstable and this will break in alkene and triphenyl phosphine oxide so this ultimately breaks and we get r2 r des c double bond c r double des r des and then we are getting r3 p double bond o that is triphenyl phosphine oxide and this is the alkene that is desired okay so this is the whole mechanism of the wittig reaction okay mechanism is very simple and i hope you all get understand this okay so these are some of the name reactions and in our next lecture we will see some more name reactions okay if you want any more thing if you want some what topics from the organic chemistry or from physical chemistry or inorganic chemistry you can comment me okay and if you are liking my videos please share these videos with other students and please like and subscribe the channel thank you